here we are day one of the project uh, we just pulled up we're starting to remove some yew shrubs uh, here we got our first we got a couple more in here we got the basin marked out where we want to put that nice viewing point off the deck a lot of parties and gatherings over here so we figure we'll start it up here move it down in here a little snake maybe have the spillway face that way and then turn down in here got to get these removed first and then get these posts cut out um, if they're gonna be in the way if not we may leave them um, but yeah just digging this out then we're gonna get this prepped uh, basin dug out and go pick up some rocks we got a couple rocks in here we might be able to use boulder wise um, yeah so far so good and then we got our kit here um so of course aquascape making it nice and simple for us here spillway got the pipe got the pump got the liner underlayment everything we should need so uh we'll get going here um i'm gonna pick up some 12 to 18 inch boulders uh some smaller stuff and some gravel uh for the uh itty bitty stuff so pulling up here gonna grab all this got the loader here Spillway rocks, looking pretty good. Nice granite pieces, American heritage, looking good. Thank you. Loaded up and ready to rock and roll. This place is crazy. getting some rocks in here Juan's getting the basin all finished dug out a few more inches huh Juan Juan's got that dope hat today looking good then we'll get the uh, underlayment laid out after this is all dug up what we need get this sloped out properly no ant hill vibes right Juan Woo! Juan's loving it <laughs> <laughs> We've gotten the mound mostly tamped out. Um, we've got a couple rocks here for retaining walls, so this isn't just a landslide. Probably put one more in here. Um, as you can see, and then we'll put the spillway right there. A little flowy, flowy. We are back on the site. Day two, uh, starting off putting the pump together, getting this all set up in the basin. Then we can start getting this bad boy rocked in. Uh, got everything we need, just working out the uh, basics of the pump. Uh, we'll be putting this guy down in here. Uh, should be a nice, easy access point here. Um, and connect straight to our power in here. Um, that way when we come in here, you know, you always want to make sure the opening is facing the front side so it's not covered up by boulders once you start rocking in. So 
So we are adding this piece onto the pump, uh, basically because it's lower, uh, shallower water, and it's gonna give us uh, better uh, filtration as far as uh, leaves and things of that nature coming in here. Missing gasket, so it's just an additional intake attachment. So we're putting that on the pump as well. We need a gasket. Oh, yeah. Very important. This will cause your pond to leak and you will never find it. Gasket. Gasket. Anytime you thread on. You need one of them gaskets. That's a little shot he's gonna sit in there. Nice and comfy cozy. Heck yeah. There's your snuffleupagus pump. Easy peasy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it, but he's got my glove. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what up, people? We're back, back in action. So we got the basin all set. We got it uh, filled, back filled around it. We have the plumbing set in here, the vault, uh, the, the pump is in the vault in the basin. Uh, we got that all taken care of, connected to our pipe, which is gonna be connected to the spillway. That's all buried up to this point. We'll finish that off with the bulkhead fitting at the end. Um, and now what we're gonna do is start rocking. So you always wanna start from the bottom up. You can always work your way up. Uh, make sure you have enough liner and that helps with the whole process. So that is what we're gonna do right now. What is going on, people? Uh, so we got a little update right here. We've got a couple falls as you can see here. I'm just gonna fold that. Yep, thank you. We got a fall here, fall here. Should have a nice shoot off of both these rocks. With that nice cascade fall look. We're trying to zigzag that in here. So we'll pop the water through that side and then have it shoot back in here. Kind of hide the spillway a bit more and give us more opportunity to really make it look natural. Um, and then we're gonna throw this big guy right up in here. Um, and then from there, we just pretty much have the spillway left to take care of. So, so far, coming along really well. Excited, happy, ready to get this bad boy rocking. And we have water next step fill up the basin we've got the berm built up nice and tight up around the liner and the rocks tamping it in getting it all compacted we also have the falls nice and tucked away back here back filled up nice and tight. I decided to go extra high just so that it looks all nice and hidden. It's not sticking up. Nice little pro tip. And from here, you can get these sides folded and do some wrap up touches, throw some rocks around the sides, get some more gravel in here, just nice and filled in and uh, looking more like a waterfall. Got the foam gun rocking. So what we do is we put some rocks around the crevices so you don't have to foam as much. Um, foam is pretty expensive, right? Oh yeah, it's definitely up there with uh, every single product for pond building. <laughs> so we're foaming in the cracks. And here we'll do the same thing, throw some gravel in there. The foam 
behind the rocks so that way water can't sneak in anywhere where we don't want it to. Like back in there. Like there, there, pretty much any crevice. <laughs> some do some touch-ups here got the flow running pretty awesome right here I'm gonna check the sides make sure we're good and from there we'll see what we got to fix so far so good looking pretty awesome Get a little sneak peek here of what the waterfall looks like with the lights on it's gonna look a lot better when the sun sets but right now so we got the lights in, popped them under all of the falls, get a nice glow going, put those into a smart hub so now we can control that from a phone, which is super cool. Um, and the lights are powered by the sun, so when the sun goes down, they go on, when the sun comes up, they go on. Uh, so pretty cool. Also, we got these fine filtration pads um, just got these from Aquascape, and what these will do is we'll put these on all the falls, and what they're gonna do is pick up all the little sediment that you can kind of see. It's looking a little frothy in here, um, so we'll just put these down in here. Try to catch some of that sediment as the filtering through. Obviously there's a lot more flow up top, so it's going to push it down, but you can see down here, it's capturing a lot of sediment in here, um, and we'll let this flow as we're going around the edges doing some cleanup, um, and then from there we'll take them out, and uh, it should be a lot cleaner. Yeah, aren't those cool? Yeah. Where do you find all of these rocks? These? Yeah. We got all these from, uh, there's a rock store. You can get rocks from. Say what? Be careful. Good morning. We are on the job site day number three we only worked on it like a day and a half maybe but this is the third day we're here uh we're, all we got left to do is get these edges cleaned up get the liner buried and then we'll throw some more gravel around uh mulch it and then we're going to talk to the customer about plants but right now i want to show you guys how we get this these edges buried <clears throat> so pretty much what we do is very carefully dig out these little pockets where we had backfilled just a slight bit just to loosen up the soil so we do that around the entire perimeter
What's going on, people? Uh, we have completed our waterfall, our pondless waterfall today with the help of Aiden. Um, here you can see we've got three drops in here. Uh, we got a nice little waterfall in here. If you can see it from that angle, nice and shooting off in the back. We have buried very well and hidden the spillway, so it looks like it's naturally coming out of the ground. We put a dosing system in here. We use some filtration pads. Um, this is a water basin kit, six foot kit from Aquascape. Um, and we, we used a lot of granite boulders in here. Uh, overall, I think it went super well. Very happy with the project. Homeowners happy. Neighbors on every single side are happy. We had all the kids over last night checking it out before we wrapped it up. Um, so, super fun project. Um, excited for more to come, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.